take this hand off, pull the sleeve in. Now for me to go Uchimata, a lot easier. Notice Eugene's arm is flared out to the side. So if I want to close the space, look, I open and I can throw my hips across. Is shoulder attack, game position. Ochi Ochi, shove this hand here. All right, guys, micro judo, right versus left. Okay, I did a whole full series, micro judo, right versus right. This is a little bit more, it's exactly the same thing, but I'm just gonna throw it up on YouTube, right? And you'll see all the best guys in the world do this already. But it's not explicitly taught, so that's what I'm gonna show you. Okay, right versus left, right? So we have inside versus outside position, sleeve and sleeve, okay? Inside position versus outside versus sleeve and sleeve, okay? So the advantages that are had here are very, very small, okay? For instance, right now we have the same ability to push away. Okay, me and Eugene are the same height. We're both six foot one, all right? So <laughs> I have the ability to pull and push. So if he pushes, his, extend his arm, look, me pulling and me pushing the same, and now Eugene's gonna pull, and me pushing, it's the same, okay? So the ability to frame here is the same. Now, let's just say, for instance, I take my head and push his head to the outside. Now, if he wants to keep me away, right, and if I start pulling, it's gonna be more difficult because of the angle of the arm and the where this hand is positioned, okay? If his hand is positioned right here on the neck, right here, okay, you see how he has contact with his neck? But if you look over here, lift your neck up, I don't have contact with his neck here. So now, if I wanna pull him in, this arm run into, runs into my neck. Okay, keep it tight. Ah, I can't really do it, okay? Same idea. If I adjust here, and if I throw this hand into the neck, if Eugene wants to pull me in, there's no way he can pull me in here because of this hand is on the neck, okay? So these are the little micro maneuvers that you need to learn. So from here, I have a strong pulse. Eugene doesn't have a strong pulse. And this is sort of the arm's length distance, okay? You could go sort of elbow distance by keeping this hand by the collar and having this structural frame here. Okay? Notice Eugene's arm is flared out to the side. So if I want to close the space, look, I open and I can throw my hips across. Okay? But because of the position of his elbow, if Eugene wants to throw his hips across, it's very, very difficult because this acts as a frame here, structure. Okay? Also, my hand is higher, so it's very strong. Similarly, if I'm on the outside, I want to bring this hand down. I want to deny him this. Okay? So when I bring this hand down, when I throw this elbow in here, now this structure is very strong and the position of his arms makes it so that it's very difficult for him to push, him away from, uh, push me away from him, okay? And there's a lot of weight coming down along. There's lots of little variations where you come here maybe, right? Where you kind of adjust and then do this kind of a thing. Uh, but we're not gonna get too deep into that, okay? The idea here is battling for this, and obviously we both know the same thing, but it's gonna be a little bit different, right? The way you gain these positions is shoulder attack, gain position. Ochi, ochi shove this hand here, okay? Make it look like I'm looking for that sleeve hand. Looking for that sleeve hand, adjusting, placing this hand, and then going for that sleeve hand, okay? So this is like sort of the right versus left collar hand situation. Now, for the sleeve hand, you want to game it so that you have outside position of his hand. If he grabs my sleeve here, right, I let him grab however he wants, and now it's very difficult if he's angling his hand inward for me to regain the sleeve here, okay? So now, as I'm fussing around here trying to regain this sleeve, usually you're usually gonna gain an advantage here, right? Now it's very, very difficult here. Okay, go back here for two seconds, pin this elbow in. That, right, so now from here, look, I'm thinking about this, he throws this elbow over, right here, keep this elbow on pin. Now I'm in real trouble here. As I go to try to grab the outside sleeve, look, he's gonna release it and then pull. And now, there's no stopping his hips here from entering any big technique here, okay? So, the moment he grabs the sleeve, look, I wanna angle, right? I wanna pull this hand to me, right? And then angle my hand to the outside here. Okay, notice I'm collecting the hand here and I'm pushing this hand inward so I make it very difficult for him to re-grab my sleeve, okay? This is sort of the key. Once I have this hand in here, I adjust and I pull this hand to my hip, okay? So notice the position of my elbow. My elbow is tight to my body here and Eugene's arm is extended, and I have a very good pushing motion, so now it's very difficult for Eugene to get this hand back, okay, because his arm is extended, and his upper body is turned, all right? And then all my throws should happen from here. When I'm here, it's very easy for me to go tatoshi. Bang! But if we're even, sleeve, sleeve, okay, this is even, there's no advantage here, right? We both have outside hand position. His hand's on top, but it doesn't really matter so much. We're fighting here, right? But we're sort of hands in the middle line. 
We both have a similar post. If I want to go Tayatoshi, it's very difficult for me to, when he resists, he could turn his hips. It's very difficult. When he wants to go Uchimara, <laughs> very difficult, okay? But if I adjust here, a little bit better, take this hand off, pull the sleeve in. Now for me to go Uchimara, a lot easier, okay? So this is sort of micro judo, right versus left. And sometimes you just can't beat this, right? So maybe I'll take this off, okay? And as he's going underneath to grab the gi or something, look, I close, and I fight for the sleeve. And now look, I have a good frame here, good position of the hand, and I'm pulling it to me. And now I'm already unloading my attacks here. So you're always trying to fight from good position. Sometimes you're stuck, losing, sleeve. Oh my God, this is terrible. I'm gonna fake a tomonage. Oh no! Adjust here, see how I adjust? That, right, now I have a good pulse to the frame. Regain the sleeve. Now I can go four. All right, if I want to. Mike Pedrino, right versus left. I got a request from one of the guys on my YouTube channel or Instagram. As you find my Instagram, Judo Shantaro NYC. Mike Pedrino, right versus right is for sale. Click down below. Do you have any comments? Uh, one technique thing when you're battling here with the sleeves, when you have this kind of tug of war, the better you have this post on, on here, kind of stabilize it this side, then it's much easier to pull to blocking, blocking this, mm. this shoulder. Right? If my opponent's stronger than me and we're just battling this, this sleeve, then I might lose that, lose that battle. But if I have this post here, then it's a lot easier to pull the sleeve in to my, to my body. Yeah, good point. Well, thank you. Judotv.com. Judotv.com. <laughs>